Hello, I am Teresa Rivera, director of eDream, a nice home where we try to ensure a platform where different players can connect, can interact in order to provide solutions for sustainable development in the years to come. 2015 has been a very impressive year. It has been the year where we have witnessed governments trying to set a new ground for the transformation we need in 21st century. So to be sure that we can provide prosperity for everybody without leaving anyone behind within the limits of the planet, so within the, uh, the environmental limits. The uh, Paris Agreement uh, on Climate may drive our future. We have got the tools and now we have to put them uh, in action. We need to be sure that after these big headlines coming from governments, after this official support, action really takes place and transparency will be a key tool in order to achieve these goals. ITRI has been working hard in these fields. We have tried to explain what all of this means for the society, why it was important to innovate in terms of the global governance, to what extent it was important to connect the different dots, so the different players that are pretty interdependent. It has been providing some of these uh, pieces of information, but has also been trying to provide some suggestions on how to respond to these challenges. For instance, we have been developing some tools together with other 16 national teams on the, um, how we can figure out the sequence to fully decarbonize the energy systems according to the domestic priorities of these uh, big countries. And we have been working hard with the oceans community and the climate community to provide some responses that could ensure that synergies are properly taken into account. In the near future, the challenge is to be sure we implement what we have already said we were going to do. It is nice to say that we want to be sustainable, it is nice to say that we are going to be fully decarbonized, but now it's time for action. First tool, first challenge, how we put in place elements of transparency that do help to accelerate action in this transformation pathway. The second thing I consider it is pretty important is not to forget about fairness, equity. If we have accepted that we need to deeply transform the basis of our prosperity, of our economy, of our development, this implicates that we are conscious of uh, many situations of unfairness and uh, that we can anticipate also big difficulties in the transformation pathway. And the third thing that I consider pretty interesting for the, um, for the time being, to achieve those goals into the future, we need to figure out what are the different priorities, how we are going to combine the different tools from now till the years to come, because otherwise uh, we could be tempted to wait and see till the very last moment as if things were going to happen on their own and this is not going to happen. We will keep working in this uh, joint approach uh, with uh, our partners in order to provide some tools into action. This means that uh, we do not need to uh, focus so much in the, what we could call the regulatory framework it is already there at the international level, but how we can domesticate those general goals that have been supported worldwide in concrete action at home. How we can ensure that uh, these global partnerships do come into domestic partnerships to transform, to change our reality around us. And this um, declination of um, the different um, uh, tools is not uh, so easy. So we will concentrate our efforts on how we put in place all those different instruments that can help uh, um, cities, uh, business, civil society at home to identify concrete tools to, to get um, what we want to, to achieve for the years to come. So a final word on my side, I could invite you to visit our website where you will find very interesting, I hope, papers, but also many different perspectives coming from our partners. So trying to provide fully open invitation to connect with um, different players in this uh, challenging sustainable development world.